Hello and welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us here today on Health Professional Radio. There's a brand new campaign that's kicked off that pairs patients with scientists that are responsible for the cutting edge advances in the medicine or the procedure that they need specifically. Now, joining us today are two of the folks that are featured in this campaign. Dr. Ted Johnson, who's a cancer researcher, and Matt Hisney. Matt's a lung cancer patient. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, both uh, Ted and Matt. Thank you. Thanks, both of you, for joining me today. Now, um, Dr. Johnson, this new campaign, talk about this campaign. Um, when did it uh, kick off and what exactly is the purpose? Uh, as far as I know, it kicked off uh, today. Um, <laughs> okay. And um, the purpose is really to illustrate the strong link between uh, the scientists that are on the front lines um, and the patients that they work for every day. Now, are we talking about um, a specific uh, type of uh, researcher or is this you just connect with researchers across the board depending on what the client needs? Well, I think typically it's, um, you know, it's tailored to the type of research that you're doing. So um, I do oncology research and specialize in personalized therapy. And so it's really connecting the researchers um, like myself in that area. So the the patients that might be benefiting from medicines that I work on, um, connecting me with those patients. Um, And that, that can really inform the research project process specifically, but also, um, you know, motivate, inspire um, the researchers. So rather than simply getting the information, the treatment, the prescription and the drug through your your physician, the researcher is now in touch with the patient. Does this uh, above and beyond encourage and inspire the researcher? How important is it that the patient understand on a deeper level what their treatment is? I think it's I think it's always important. I mean, across all different therapeutic areas, um, but especially oncology, because there's um, there's so many changes happening. This is really a new era of medicine Mm -hmm. um, where there's breakthroughs every day. And so it's good for the patient to be informed and that patient can be informed by their doctor. Um, but they can also be informed by researchers as well or clinicians. Matt, you uh, are you a patient of Dr. Johnson specifically uh, and his research? Yes, I have benefited from uh, directly from Dr. Johnson's research. Now, when you first uh, started in your clinical trials and, and the new treatment, how optimistic were you? I mean, you're in touch with a researcher now and you're not simply being treated by your physician on that on that personal level that you have with them you're you know you're involved in how your treatment came to be is um was that something that kind of uh went in your favor as far as healing or at least accepting what you were going to go through yeah i think it's i i derive a a benefit from being able to uh, be put in touch with people that have helped uh, save my life and have helped create uh, treatments for me. And I, I find it very therapeutic to be able to look at them in the eye and shake their hand and thank them for helping to save my life. And any any patient in a clinical trial will, will tell you that um, as far as being informed as what the, the therapy is, and I, I've been, I'm a scientist myself, and when I go for my clinical trial patients and see my oncologist and I interact with other patients, the, the understanding, um, the level of understanding that fellow patients who, who have no, no formal training in, in these areas of science, the understanding they have is, um, surprises me um, all the time. And so um, echoing what uh, Dr. Johnson said earlier, I think it's, you know, it's important um, to, to have that dialogue between the patient and the oncologist, and then the oncologist can relay it to the research team uh, so that they can make a better product for the patients of the future. 
you know, when it when it comes to oncology, it, it one of the most fear inducing uh, diagnosis that that one can uh, can encounter any any type of cancer. And we want to be told that it's something that you know is easily treatable and that we've got some great odds. You you had some some long odds, just you know, but you you're your survivor. Uh, you became even more optimistic. What is the one thing as a patient and a survivor that you'd like, you know, cancer researchers to know about your specific story? Um, I think just knowing my story and knowing that the work that they do every day in and out, um, I'm, like I said, I'm a scientist. I know that there's a lot of failure that comes with this, but knowing that sometimes it works and sometimes you break through and you get a therapy and you help a patient and when you just simply hear that they're living a normal life you know that that puts fire in your belly uh, to work even harder um, because cancer is a disease of recurrences it it for, uh, for many cancers, it mm-hmm. will come back, and you'll need another therapy this time, a better one. Uh, and so the fight um, fight moves onward uh, knowing that. And in my own research, I, I strive for the day where um, I'm able to maybe make an impact uh, with a with a, a treatment for a patient, and I've then truly paid it forward um, um, based on my diagnosis and treatment and survival. Yeah, when it comes to getting the patients together with the researchers and forming that bond that that fosters this optimism and, and this uh, inspiration, what's the the biggest challenge that you that you face? Uh, I think that it, it's um, it's being able to find the uh, the patient. Um, that has um, you know the mutation and the researcher that's been studying you know that mutation. Um, it's not always necessarily one specific one. And Ted will tell you that he was Dr. Johnson will tell you he was a part of a a, a team. And having them both really willing to to share their stories because um, not everyone. Uh, is is as keen about uh, opening up about such a, a difficult time in their life, and there really aren't aren't enough stories um, yet like mine. But I will be the first of many. I can promise you that um, of people that have made cancer um, have treated it as a chronic disease. It's no longer a killer. It's a disease. It's I'll battle it the rest of my life, but it will be a long life. I'm battling it. Excellent. Well, I, th- I thank you both for uh, for talking with us today. Some uh, fascinating information. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ted Johnson, cancer researcher, and Mr. Matt Hisney, uh, cancer patient and survivor. It's been a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, with Dr. Ted Johnson and Matt Hisney. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud.